Hey, I see you're uh, in the dummy section today. What's going on? Well, after uh, Mac the Man and It's My Lucky Day, I figured I could get some help from the handicapping section, and I got 150 professional horse racing systems. Oh, great. Any good tidbits in there? Yep. This is called the Fixing Six System, which uh, says the system's doctor is going to give me the prescription for a winner. That's great. It says Verrazano in the Wood Memorial. Really? Yep. Wow. And, I mean... They wouldn't publish a book if it didn't give out winners. Yeah, I mean, it's like the internet. If it's uh, on the internet, it's true, Yeah, right? exactly. So so that's uh, tip 65. Got, what, 85 more? So yeah. <laughs> should be a big weekend. Well on your way, yeah. But, but uh, Yeah, I, I stunk it up this weekend, so I, I need some help. Yeah, I mean, I, I didn't do much better either, but uh, Lines of Battle ran pretty big, I thought, in Dubai. Yeah, I thought so, too. You know, people talking about, oh, UAE Derby, why is it worth points? And I could definitely see certain horses winning. You'd be like, well, are they going to come over? But, I mean, it's Aiden O'Brien, and I thought he beat a good group, and he's earned his way in. So oh, yeah, absolutely. We'll he's... see how he looks on the track, but as yeah. of right now, I don't see any reason why he's not in the top 20. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, his one little, like, mystery part is that he came over the Breeders' Cup and obviously didn't run so well. Right. But... Uh, maybe that was Lost a late to a stable mate, though. Yeah, I mean it was a, it was obviously a solid bunch then too. Yeah. So hopefully, hopefully uh, he can do well. Sounds of the track here at the bookstore. Yeah, who would have thunk Very it? Very ambient. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But what I, about the domestic races? I mean, obviously Orb was impressive. Um, he was able to double up what he had done, you know, prior in the Fountain of Youth, and uh, which is always good. Yeah. Um, for the connections, I mean, I know Shug's always been high on him and stuff. Um, so uh, he ran well, and I, I mean, it's my lucky day. Um, didn't really show up, but I think I think going forward, he he could still Let's show hope. up on the first yeah, Saturday. Yeah, I mean, he, to me, he's just too fast. That if you, if you believe that he's capable of running that fast, now wouldn't be the time to give up on him because he's going to be fifteen to one. Oh yeah, absolutely. in the Derby, maybe more depending on what Verrazano and others do. Yeah. So. What about uh, Revolutionary? Revolutionary ran huge. I mean, obviously, I was kind of skeptical out for that race up in New York because I thought the competition wasn't that good. But, uh, he, you know, he ran big. And, I mean, there's a couple horses that had a pretty bad trip. Um, right. Like Palace Malice, yeah, obviously. Yeah, Sunbeam. Yeah, I mean. There's no holes for him. But, but, I mean, there's always horses that get excuses coming out of races. But, I mean, he definitely should be in people's top ten, I would have to believe. Right. Well, I, I just like the way he clearly wants to win. I mean, I do think some horses have heart, and one yeah. of my criticisms of Oxbow is he's been in a position to win the last two races and hasn't gotten it done. Yeah. So, in fairness, I should like a horse who has gotten it done when he hasn't been in position. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I thought, I thought the Midnight Loot horse was going to roll on by and Revolutionary. Oh, my, I thought my loot was going yeah. right on by, but he definitely, uh, yeah, Revolutionary wants to win, and it's like with... Uh, or that middle race move, you need to win the derby. Yeah, exactly. You also need to want to win in the derby, Yeah, too. that that E2 pace rating of Orbs uh, when he beat Violence, to me, was a bigger deal than how he closed in the race. Mm-hmm. And you make that move on the far turn in the derby, you're going to be in contention to win. Then you got to be good enough. But yeah, he'll certainly get the trip if he can do that. Yeah. But I'm definitely looking forward to this weekend. Oh, um, yeah. Huge. you got Verrazano and Vijack in the wood, and you got Here the Ghost and Flashback in the yeah. San Diego. And Derby, Normandy so. Invasion, maybe uh, Remsen Redemption at long last. Yeah, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> this would be the time. But, yeah, yeah Keeneland Open should be a, a great weekend. Yeah, and, I can't wait. Uh, hopefully I won't go hungry, but I think I'm going to stick to books for this week instead of food. Yeah, it might help your midsection out a little bit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so got uh, these systems, and I'll let you borrow it when I'm done. All right, great. Sounds yeah, good. Yeah, should be good. Yeah, so we'll, uh, we'll see you next week.